Hey guys, um, just a quick little tool, um, thing that I like. I wanted to share with you guys. I know I've showed this before, um, in other videos. It's a Xyron, um, adhesive eraser. And I love it for my craft mat because, um, dried on gesso or paint when I'm doing something like that. This just takes it off when it's dry if you can't. If you're not wiping down when stuff's wet, this will just scratch it right up. Um, it works really good for glue and stuff, too. It is one of my must-have in my craft toolboxes, and they last forever. This thing's a couple years old. You can tell it's looking rough. Um, it's just where I need to take a knife to it again, and this is the dirt and stuff. Um, whatever I was working on. Um, collecting up on it is all that is and if you just take a knife um, I just did this little corner and actually I did it with my exacto knife but I do like to use um, one of those steak knives with it better it seems to just file it off better don't I wouldn't use a good paring knife or anything because it's probably going to dull the blade but a steak knife will work fine it doesn't harm it or your exacto knife but it's a little bit harder and I don't it doesn't seem to cut um, as even as the steak knives do. But I'm working on a photo album right now and uh, I've made a frame for it and stuff and when you start gluing all these little pieces together, um, this is three ply here, this um, is three put together too. Especially with these little things, um, glue can manage to seep out, you know, as you're compressing it and stuff. That's my computer, sorry guys. Um, as a lot of you know, I am a big fan of wet glue in my albums. Um, I'm just a big fan of wet glue, period. I prefer wet glue over hot glue, as a matter of fact. Um, just for a simple reason, you can flatten it out pretty good and not scold your fingers while you're doing it. Um, it, it adheres very well, and um, we know from all them um, macaroni noodle... <laughs> papers we constructed in school, you know, in elementary classes for our parents. <laughs> Some of that macaroni is still hanging on, so um, wet glue is just, I'm just a big fan of wet glue, but wet glue will make a mess if you're not careful, and one of the things I found is that this will work very well on card, on card stock and wet glue, because I had you know, glue coming out on my fingers and trying to wipe it off, but I still managed to get it on. Um, hold on, guys. Hey, May, I am recording at the moment. Say hello to everybody. Hi, everyone. That is May from Creating with Detail, guys, and I'll be right with you, May. Um, so the adhesive eraser works very well on glue that you get onto your cardstock and this you can tell it's cleaned up very well um that's when I thought about filming this when I was doing it I should have done it should have been filming when I done it um let's see which side I might have got it all off of this one too see right here I don't know if you guys will be actually there's a little bit of dry residue from the glue in my fingers and I just take it in just like this and it will come off um don't gouge your cardstock. You don't want to um, aggravate the paper any. This I'm using basil cardstock here. Basil's pretty strong cardstock. It holds up really well. So you can take it and rub it and it'll come off easy. Cheaper cardstock, I don't know how well it will hold up to this eraser. So if you try it, just be careful until you figure out what your paper can withstand on of the pressure of it. Now this one I just did, the glue is, you can see the glue shiny still. So I'm not sure how well it'll work right now. Um, this is actually still tacky. I just did this for your guys' purpose. Um, this actually sat from last night, so it came off beautifully. beautifully. So let's see how it will do. And it may be too tacky. It may need to sit longer, guys. Well, no, it started taking it off, but there's still a sheen. So, if that will happen on your cardstock, um, no, look, it's coming. It's lifting it off. It is lifting it off. Um, 
But if you can let it set overnight where it's completely dried out, it'll come, it'll come right off. It'll lift right up with no problems at all. So I hope you guys will find that handy as I did when you're trying to work with um, paper crafting and white glue. And I'll talk to you all later, guys. Bye.